Hi guys, this is Meera Deosthale and uh, I am here today to share with you how I do my uh, daily wear makeup and um, uh, have that no makeup look all the time. So um, let's just get started. I have a live actually today and uh, I'm getting ready for it. So I think this is a good opportunity for you guys to see how I do my makeup. new cut fringes that I just got last night um, okay so we have um, I'll start with the primer um, as you can see I've just washed my face and yeah so I think this is the most important step when you're doing your makeup Cool. So, um, since I see my foundation first, I use a Smashbox foundation and it's an amazing one because it's light on the skin and um, it merges very well and does not look cakey at all. So, I kind of used this base during my last show that was with there. And then I don't use a brush. I just merge and mix the base on my skin as if I'm applying a cream. And I've seen a lot of makeup tutorials on YouTube and they keep saying that, you know, um, your fingers mix the base better than any brush that you can use and yeah i think this shade is a shade lighter than what my skin is because usually uh, on shoot when we use uh, the base once we are in the sun it kind of gets a little um, what do i say a little darker yeah and for the screen i think one shade lighter is better because then we get on to the contouring. Okay, uh, I think I have some matinee spots visible. So I use this uh, MACCA concealer and I use it on my under eyes also. So I'll just dab a little. As you can see. the pimple and just I'm going to have to use the foundation a little on this because that concealer has a little yellow tone so yeah but I think these are fresh fresh pimples and uh, these are fresh pimples and they won't Okay, so we're done with the base and I think now we should move on to the contouring. So during lockdown, I had been uh, really obsessed with keeping up with the Kardashians. And then I went on to watching a lot of uh, tutorials of Kylie Jenner. And um, yeah, so I've learned her contouring tricks. I think I have a very broad nose on the tip. So, um, I don't use this base on the cheeks, I just contour my cheeks. I'll use a sponge to make my nose bridge a little sharper so that there, ha there is a definition on my nose. Yeah. Okay, um, I will go with the 
dry contouring on my face now so I'm using a brush for this so as you can see and you know the people who know me I have a round face and the trick to contouring a round face is that you don't contour uh, you don't uh, put your blush on your cheeks and you go and make a three as the Kardashians say okay Okay, what do you think? I think my face looks contoured enough and I think since we don't have professional cameras here, this much is enough. Hmm. And now we will hop on to the blush on. And so I use this um color bar blush on and I mix one more uh, from Benefit. I really like this pink tone so it looks really nice. So I'm just going to dab it on my contouring only. And I think uh, my blush has a little uh, shimmer in it so I don't I don't actually have high cheekbones also ki I can you know put a highlighter and just look so fab with highlighter although i really wish to um but it doesn't happen for me okay just some color on my nose bridge and my chin and um yeah i'm sweating it's not much ventilated here anyway uh, now I think we hop on to doing the eyeshadow. So my eyeshadow is also very basic because uh, since this is a no makeup look so I use this blush on only and um, I just do it like that. yeah and then i just do a little on under my eye so it gives a little definition although um this is not going to give much of definition on under eye but still okay hopping on to uh baking um so i'm going to use this a B and D uh, powder, and I'm going to dab it on the areas where I sweat a lot, or you know that becomes oily for me. And this is a loose powder, so it does not become very um, cakey. And yeah looking nice cool moving moving on to the next step um i think i think i'll do the mascara now um, okay so usually um i use an eyelash curler but right now i can't find it and i'm just going to cover up by saying ki, uh, it's a no makeup look so we don't need an eyelash curler and i use this two faced uh, mascara and it's fab so earlier when i was you know i was younger and i just started doing my makeup i used to make my face like 
and I used to do my mascara but I think we don't really need it and I'm lucky I have good lashes as you can see I'll just do a little under my eyes also yeah okay so um I might have smudged a little mascara here and there because I was not looking straight so I'm just going to take it off yeah okay now um I'm just going to I forgot but I'm going to contour my eyeshadow as well it gives a little definition to the eye so I use a brown shade just on this part so it kind of gives some definition to my eyes yeah Okay. Okay, moving on. Um, I, I think there was a lot of pressure that I'm supposed to do this makeup tutorial that I forgot that I'm supposed to apply lip balm in my lips and moisturize them. So I've done that. Now when I'm ready for the live or you know to step out i'll apply my lipstick but for you guys i will do it right now um okay what shade should i use it's a question okay i'll use this uh, lip liner from mac and it's a little brown shade i know it's old-fashioned somehow uh uh Few of my friends have said that brown makes you look a little older than your age, gives you a little maturity. But I like it. I like brown because I've seen my mom do and use a lot of brown lipsticks when, you know, I was younger. And yeah. So guys, um, I think this is it. I hope you like my uh, no makeup look and. Um, there's still a lot of makeup on my face but still i think i've done a decent job cool see you guys bye take care